Hey guys! Welcome to Kara and Jenna Love Cameras. I'm Jenna. I'm Kara. And it's Kara's birthday! <laughs> <laughs> so, we thought we'd do a little celebrating with you all. I feel like I'm King Kara. King Kara! <laughs> it's a very fancy crown. It is. I feel like I just need... Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Happy birthday to me! Yay! Yay. I'm old, guys. It's just... But you're young at heart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you sound very unenthused. Yeah. When you get old, I mean, once you're past 21, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. And I get it. I don't usually know how old I am, so... I yeah. Can. Well, and once... I mean, once you're over 40, like, things just start going bad. It's just bad. I've got hair coming out weird places. It's just... <laughs> It's bad. Anyway, okay, go. Okay. All right. Um. So Kara has brought out all of these Gen X things that she thinks I won't know what they are. But I'm either an old soul or older than everyone thinks I am, which does always happen. So well, I think like we're Gen Xers and like we're on the edge, opposite ends of it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So. And I thought, I thought it would be fun to, like, I bet there's some of our clients that are, like, oh. I'm sure. Yeah. So we have some fun little things here to yeah. share with you. Okay. So, because I, I pulled up this thing that they're, like, Gen Xers know what these things are, but no one else does. And I'm, like, how could they not know? Because I grew up with these things. Okay. So it I have. It would be funny to ask Keaton about some of these things. Oh, he see. totally knows because okay. he's. Like some, some of these things are his. Okay, so one of these things, which is not, this is not one, but I just found a tape. So they said, um, we grew up with mixtapes. Yep. Did you had a mixtape? Mm -hmm. Did you make them? I didn't make mixtapes. I made mixed CDs, but I had tapes before. Yeah. I used to make mixtapes. <laughs> Spent hours in my room, like, going, Waiting. <laughs> I had to buy a stereo system to make yes. these tapes. This is not, this is not, this, I don't even know what this it is. It would be amazing if you still had one of your mixtapes. Oh my God, I have so many. Do They're you? somewhere <laughs> in this house. But anyway, I just found a tape. But yes, mixtapes, I have so many. And I used to make the tapes to do our drill team dances too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> mixtapes. I'm surprised you knew what they were. Mix oh, totally. CDs. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think I had friends who made mixtapes. I just, I don't think I was like, it's too much pressure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to spend hours like, <laughs> and my mom was, and then I'd have to like spin it. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, we got to rewind it, guys. <laughs> yeah, stick a pencil in there yeah. or your finger. Yeah. We never trust you. Yeah. Anyway, mixtapes. Yeah. And then you had to like write it on there. I mm -hmm. love you. Mm -hmm. it, it, With like a list of like each, what yeah. each song was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love mixtapes. <laughs> Kate will never know the joy of mixtapes. That's crazy. Now he only knows playlists. Yeah, we have come quite a long way, I guess. It's kind of weird. But anyway. Um, this one's not on there, but etch sketches. Good old etch etch sketches. I love just you spend hours like Murray. Oh. I was never good at them. Like I enjoyed playing with them, but like I could never actually draw something on an extra sketch. I couldn't either. I was just like, let me turn the dials and make it move. I found this one in Caden's room and I was like, I can't even believe he has an extra sketch. <laughs> He's never been patient enough to make a Have you ever seen Toy Story? I think they draw like a whole picture with an extra sketch and it's just like what? <laughs> yeah. I used to love them. This is actually a compact oh, wow. giveaway. Compact wow. for Lion. That's it's really showing its age. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a pretty. Anyway, uh, etch sketches. Um, arcades. Did you ever? Yes. You've been in an arcade. Oh, yes. Pinball machines, skee ball, Pac Man. Yeah. I used to spend hours in arcade. Like, yeah. mom, there's two more quarters. <laughs> <laughs> love the arcades. It was amazing. Okay. So, did you ever have a CD Walkman? Oh, yes. Did you have a tape Walkman? I think I did have a tape Walkman, too. But I remember when it switched to CD, it was like, they had the whole, like, anti-skip problem. Yeah. And it was like, 
kind of pointless. Like you can't really do anything with yeah. it. If you and move it like, all, it like <laughs> doesn't work. The tape walkman was way better because at least it could like move and not right. like, have issues. I remember traveling with the CD yeah. walkman and you're like, I can't move. Yeah. But like how exciting to be able to like take your CD with you. It was so stupid though. <laughs> like how are you gonna like and it was large. I think back on that and I'm like, did we like put it away? when we were walking around traveling with it or did we like continue know. listening because it just seems so large now to think back on it i remember it having it in the car like in my mom's like molester van and like because she had one of those that like had the table in the middle of the, the well, thing i was always jealous of every kid that had one of those <laughs> It was awful, but I remember the Walkman, like, on the table, and, like, every time she hit a bubble, it was like, <laughs> and, like, it was like ah, I can't listen to George Michael. <laughs> it was so dumb. Like, it's funny. the CD Walkmans were so dumb. But yeah, they didn't last long. CD. Yeah, it was just so dumb. And then every, like, because this one even, every, they all had mm -hmm. scratches. scratches. And I would have, like, the giant binder yes. of CDs. Yes. And like, man, just flipping through them. Back in the day, we had to carry around the giant binder of CDs, the yeah. CD Walkman. Nowadays, it's like, it's just all in your phone. Yeah, or you had them in your visor. Oh, yes, I totally had that. <laughs> and like, you're driving around, you're like, oh, gotta find, gotta find the right one. <laughs> had the five disc changer in yeah. the car. It was just, yeah. I mean, I, I can't believe we didn't die. So many reasons. <laughs> like, stopped at the stoplight. Oh, yeah. And they say phones are distracting. <laughs> I can't believe that. I think my five disc changer was in the trunk. Yes, that was a thing for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was like you either had one or you had five. Yeah. You didn't get to have five. Yeah. It was so dumb. Like all of that was dumb. And didn't, again, didn't last very long. No. Yeah. It's like, why would you put it in the trunk? You gotta get out and like. Yeah. It's not a great. Plan. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, we were the last generations with no cell phones. Yes. Yeah, I remember when I got my first one. But did you have the they were so one? different? No, I didn't. And mine was much later than that. I mean, it was early two thousands, probably. Oh, so you had a good one. Yeah. No, I did not have the brick phone. Oh God. The my dad worked for AT and T. And it was literally this thing. Yes, I remember that my uncle had one. Yeah, they were huge. It, I, I was so cool. Everybody was so jealous. <laughs> did you just like, where did you put it? Like, <laughs> it took up the whole like passenger floorboard. Right. It was in okay. a bag. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't even think anybody like, you ever didn't called. Take it anywhere. I mean, it went in the car. Yeah. It was. But in the like, car. then you would get out of the car and it would stay. No, in it the would car. stay in there. Yeah. Yeah. It was just so in case like something happened. Yeah, your emergency. Yes. Brick. Or dad needed to call me. It was in the car. <laughs> it was a car phone, oh, basically. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, well, you could take it with you. I'm like, I'm not taking that thing anywhere. It's huge. That's hilarious. <laughs> it weighed like yeah. 18 pounds. It's like, no thanks, dad. Yeah, no. Was, not, a, not a good luck. It's like a <laughs> that had that gigantic like antenna. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember that. Anyway, that's funny. That was hilarious. Um, okay, so swatch watches. Yes, I do remember swatch watches. Keaton has like three of them upstairs. That looks very different than I remember. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of baby G watches. Those were like, that might have been because of where I lived. But anyway, yes, swatch watches. Yes, they're, they're back in now. Wow. It's crazy what comes back around. Yeah. Swatch. Um, yeah, he's got several. Most of them aren't see-through like that. Yeah. But this one is. Um, big console TVs with the rabbit ears. Oh, yeah. Yes, very frustrating having to get them in just the right spot. Can you see it now? Yeah. Can what about now? <laughs> yeah. Those yeah. Are... I don't ever remember anything about TVs at our house. I, I think we had a giant one. I think it was like a big thing like that. Like one of those ones that had like a base and like it was its own table yes. slash TV. Yeah, I think it was us. 
Uh, were you a latchkey t kid? No. I was. Wasn't. <laughs> I totally was for a while. Probably for like a year. Yeah. And then my mom came back home. Yeah, my mom was always there when I got up. But a lot of my friends' kids were. I remember growing up, like, most of the kids were at our house because my mom was there. Yeah. But all of their parents were not. Yeah. Home, so. Yeah. But nowadays, like... You never hear about a latchkey kid. Like no. that term. Is I'm pretty sure it's like illegal nowadays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are like, what? Yeah. No. no, that that is a dead term. Now you hear like helicopter mom. That will be the term yes. of like, yeah, nowadays. Yes. Um. Uh, well, since you grew up far away, you you didn't know about Blockbuster. I did know about Blockbuster. I was here enough, like in the summers and stuff. We would always go to Blockbuster and get movies, and that was like so exciting and then like if you got remember the um it was like a bucket for popcorn but like you put the whole bucket in if you yes. got one of those it was like oh my gosh the best night ever yes. <laughs> i just remember like every friday night it was like can we get there early enough to get the good the movies? good ones yeah yeah so if you didn't get there early enough you got the shitty movies and the <laughs> crappy movies and then like it was there was nothing to do for the whole weekend yes yes i definitely remember that and then like sometimes like, remember how there'd be the, like, the real cover of it, and then behind it would yes. be, so, like, sometimes there would be one there, and you'd be like, oh, it's still here, and then it would be, like, the wrong movie there, and you're like, no! Yes. <laughs> I can't believe, I mean, it's just hard to believe that, like, that whole model I know. is not there anymore. It's so crazy. Anyway, uh, Trapper Keepers, this is a poor, poor 